Hey guys, welcome to Main Vein Games. It's Blue, and this is Tip Tuesday, episode number three. And in this video, I'm going to be going over smoke spots for DE Contra. Uh, this is actually the first map on SIVO, uh, the preseason week one. So, not that important, but if you want to try hard in uh, preseason, this might actually help you, and for future reference, of course. Okay, so the first smoke we're going to go over is the mid window smoke, which is this area right here. And we are going to smoke it out from outside of B, uh, the B bomb sites in there. So this is a good smoke for anyone going mid because you can get peaked right there. You can have an op sitting here. And if you cross to lower A, you could get shot. So you're going to want to get that smoked out. Um, but anyways, and it's just good to do. But um, to do the smoke, you're going to line up right here where these two buildings meet. So this one and this one. And just make sure you can't see through this gap. So right when they line up. Just about there. Then you aim about the middle where this green tree is and just run a few steps forward and release. So just like that and it should land in there, perfect. And it'll smoke out that whole window, making it pretty much impossible for him to see unless he goes a lot forward. So uh, there's one smoke and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so the next smoke we are going to cover is the CT spawn smoke for B, uh, which is right there. There's usually someone with an op and he'll do just that and basically own you right when you peek around the corner. So you're going to want to smoke that out before you actually try to take the B-bomb site. So to do that, we're going to stand at where these uh, double boxes are and this wall meet. So we're going to stand at the corner of that. And then in the background, you'll see a mountain. You'll want to aim your crosshair at the little peak on the mountain. So if you full screen the video, you should be able to see where I'm aiming. And then as you run forward, just raise the crosshair a little bit and it should smoke out CT spawn. Okay, so the third smoke we are going to cover is going to be another B smoke. However, we aren't going to smoke out CT spawn. We're going to smoke out this sewers uh, dark room area right here because oftentimes a Carrot Terrorist will play here and just peek that, or they'll just play in this general vicinity, maybe peek over there. So anyways, to smoke this out, we'll go back outside of B uh, for the third time in a row, and we'll go to this blue tarp here. It's quite beautiful, really, color of the ocean. Anyways, uh, we'll line up at the end of this, and then we'll look and line up our crosshair at the top of this building, and then we'll just move it over to the left a bit so it lines up at about here, and then just run a few steps forward and release Fog. right about there and it should just bounce perfectly down and smoke out that entire area as you can see so we're going to move on to the fourth smoke and uh, we'll start with a different kind of smoke which is actually going to be a bit of a fake smoke so we are outside B right now but we're actually going to smoke out the A bomb site. Uh, there won't be a lot of uses for the smoke, but it's just kind of something interesting to show you. Um, so if we line up with this statue, which is quite beautiful, I might add, along with the tarp. So great combination outside of B here. Very artistic. Anyways, oh, there's a little tiger face almost, like on the crotch. Is that a ribbon or uh, who knows? It's a gift, I guess. Anyways, before I get too distracted, I'm going to show you how to do the smoke. So. You'll line up your crosshair with this mountain peak right here, but you will have to be careful because you kind of are visible from mid from this range. So you might want to smoke that out first before you actually go in ahead and do this. But anyways, line up your crosshair with this. If you run forward all the way and then jump, uh, it should land in the A-bomb site. So just like that, it'll launch forward and go all the way over here. And it'll land right there. Um, it's Kind of decent if there's someone back here, kind of cuts off this angle, so they can't really peek it. But that's not really what you're going for. It's more of a fake. Sometimes it'll land like right here, and it'd be perfect for this. It's really kind of random. Actually, I haven't really found a specific way of doing it, but it's kind of a useless smoke to be honest. However, it's sometimes good to use. So, anyways, we're gonna move on to the next one, uh, which will be a a bomb site smoke. Okay, so I kind of lied when I said the next smoke would be an A smoke. It's actually going to be another B smoke, and it's going to smoke out the plank uh, room right here, which is this. Uh, that goes down to sewers, and it's something you have to worry about because counter terrorists can come through here, go all the way up, and, you know, kill you from here. But anyways, we'll be able to smoke that out, 
So we'll come over here and go to this curb, I guess you'd call it. Just go to this, it's a big white thing, and then go all the way to the back of it and line your crosshair up with these boxes and then just jump up and release just like that. And then it'll smoke out this entire area. Uh, so if a counter terrorist is here, he won't be able to see you. You can also get into planks from going through here and you won't have to be worried about getting peeked from there or there. So then you can go all the way to the bottom and maybe even try to go around. Uh, that'd be something uh, a bit risky to do. But anyways, yeah, it's kind of good and it might work out. So it's a good smoke to know. But anyways, that's going to do it for the B smokes. So let's move on to the A smokes for real this time. Okay, so the first A smoke we are going to cover is going to be thrown from upper A over here and it's going to smoke out down there right at the bottom of the ramp there. So we'll go back here and we'll just aim our crosshair right so it's about here hitting this little thing. You'll be able to see it from far away. You should be able to anyways. And then you'll just one run forward a few steps and release. So start about here, run forward and it should bank off and go right to that door and smoke at that entire area. And anyone playing here won't be able to see lower A or even peak upper A for that matter. Okay, so the next smoke we are going to cover is going to be another upper A smoke. So we'll throw it from this area here. However, instead of smoking out the bottom of A ramp, we are going to smoke out the top because oftentimes a counter terrorist will play here or they'll play up close. So you want to not be seen when throwing the smoke. So uh, instead of throwing it from down here, we are going to throw it from up here. So if you want to get here, you can go up this ramp from T-spawn, pretty simple. But to throw the smoke, you'll want to line up your body with this pillar that's sticking out right there. So once you've done that, just line up with that and the wall, and then aim your crosshair at these four boxes, but you'll want to aim it on the left and basically on the roof. Uh, also hit these boxes, so you'll want to aim it pretty high and then you can release and it should smoke out upper A. Smoke. And just like that, it'll smoke out all of upper A. Uh, it didn't go quite in there, but as you can see, it makes him completely useless. And if he wants to go out here to get a vision, you can easily take him out. So that's the other upper A smoke that I wanted to show you, but let's move on to the lower A smoke. Okay, so the next smoke we are going to cover is going to be a lower smoke. Uh, lower A smoke that is and it's pretty much going to smoke off this entire area making it impossible for the counter terrorist playing lower A to actually see anything so to do this smoke however you do have to be all the way over here in mid uh, this area right here you can get here from going from B or just from mid so you're gonna have to smoke those out first to actually get here but anyways to throw the smoke you're gonna want to line up with the left of this branch so or this bush I guess uh, so just line it up with this right there and I'll go back here and so if I line up with that I'm gonna move forward and raise my crosshair at the same time and then release so about there and then it should go all the way down and bounce right there and it'll smoke out all of lower A and even well did not mean to hit that and even lower sewers here as well so that's a pretty good smoke to use, however it is pretty hard to execute. But anyways, we're going to move on to mid smokes now. Okay, so the final smoke we are going to cover is going to be a mid smoke, so it's not going to smoke out that window. It's actually going to smoke out this right here because oftentimes a CT will play here and they can easily peek B from this position. So if you're doing a B push, you will want to actually smoke this guy out not able to do that because that will cause you a lot of issues trying to take B. So to throw the smoke we'll go all the way back to T spawn and so to actually throw it you're gonna want to line your crosshair up with this building right here and just make sure you don't actually hit this palm tree when making the throw so just about there so you can't actually see the palm tree uh, behind the building just like that and then if you raise the crosshair a bit as you run forward it should land in the perfect position. Smoke. So just like that. It'll bounce all the way over here. And smoke that guy out. 
Uh, sometimes it'll land even closer, but this works as well because, you know, you can't really see anything unless you fully push mid all the way to here. That's really the only way he can see you. So that'll work out. However, you can get it to land here. I just didn't throw it that perfectly. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I missed any smoke spots, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure I got all the useful ones. But uh, there's no guarantees. I'm pretty sure, though. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyways, and I hope this does help. Especially if you're in SIVO. If you're not, you should apply if you have a team of five, because it is a lot of fun. And it's a free league, especially for beginners. It's not a bad thing. So anyways, go ahead and check that out if you want. SIVO.com, C-E-V-O.com. Anyways, I'm not a SIVO representative, by the way. Just trying to get more teams involved, because it's a fun game to play, and really fun when it's competitive. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next Tuesday on Tip Tuesday number four. Peace.